I too would like to thank the community of Vine Grove for having this uh, new brushy fork debate and uh, I believe they probably started a tradition. I too would like to offer my condolences to the Tory family on the loss of her brother. And out of respect for Miss Tory and her need to be with our family tonight, I will keep my remarks brief and only about myself. I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself, who I am, and some things that I believe and things that I stand for. I come from a military family, and my dad instilled me a very deep respect for our military and our veterans, and how important that, that they are to our country in protecting and preserving our country. And I believe that if you're an active military, we have a lot of active military and veterans here in the Vine Grove area in the northern Hardin County area. If you're active military and you're veterans, on behalf of my father, United States Air Force and Marine Corps Senior Master Sergeant Denver Parrott, who passed away in Jan January, I honor you. I'm also a businessman. I have a business in Cecilia called Cecilia Farm Service, a fertilizer seed and farm supply business. I started in 1988 with four employees. We're up to 19 employees now, a business that does uh, business in a good portion of Kentucky. I know about meeting a payroll. I know about creating budgets, raising capital, and some of the regulations that go along with running a small business. I'm also a farmer. When my father returned to his native Hardin County when he retired, he bought a farm in the western part of the county, and I developed a strong passion for agriculture. I live on a farm today, and I give my best. I'll ensure that agriculture remains viable and strong in a, in a global marketplace. I'm also active in my community. I believe very strongly in giving back to your community, being active in, in a lot of organizations, the Chamber of Commerce, the Kentucky Retail Federation, the North Central Education Foundation, the Hardin County Conservation District, and many others, Kentucky Council on Agriculture. I think it's important to give back to your community with leadership. My, my family, I'm a, I believe very strongly in family and family values. My wife, Lisa, and I will be married 26 years at the end of this month. We have three daughters we are very proud of, and I, a big believer in family and family values. Some of my issues and beliefs, I believe in education. A quality education is the key to our society. On behalf of the North Central Education Foundation, I work to help secure the Challenger Center to, for the post-secondary uh, colleges that are there today. By the way, the North Central Education Foundation will be celebrating its 50th anniversary next week, and you're, everybody's welcome to come downtown Elizabethtown for the celebration. I was also chairman of the St. James School Board, so I, I, I believe in education, and I know a little bit about education, and, and I would work diligently to make sure our education system is quality. I believe if you want economic stimulus, you create jobs. You do not bail out overpaid, mismanaged, inefficient companies. I believe when families are hurting, you do not raise taxes. You create jobs. You incentivize small business and large business without overregulation, and you create jobs. I believe the proper, proper infrastructure needs to be in place, not only for what's happened at Fort Knox and the surrounding area, but also what can happen in Glendale with that premier industrial site that we have. I'm pro-life and I'm pro-family. I believe it's time to stop the decline in our family structure. And I will staunchly defend the Second Amendment until the day that I die. I talk, about, talk to people around the district, and one thing I find in common, people are fed up. They are tired, tired of partisan politics, getting nothing done. When you go to Frankfurt to do a budget in your off season, in the off year, you do a budget. That's what you're there for. You know, I, I believe it's not always about being a Democrat. I believe it's not always about being a Republican. It's being a Kentuckian. And if it's good for Kentucky, it's good for the 10th District. And one thing I talk about every time I talk, and that is common sense. I believe we do not have enough common sense in Frankfurt. I believe that if a bill makes sense, and it's good for the people, and it can be paid for if need to, I don't care what side of the aisle it comes from. I believe in common sense. As always, I ask for your support and your prayers, and I humbly ask for your vote. Thank you.